God dang, is low fash commies. I'll have to find a new place to liberate. Hmm, let's see. Desert, resource rich, and most importantly, not mine. Perfect! And we all know Australia could definitely use a little bit of liberation. This continent has gone back to their old ways of just being a giant prison. Hello, guys. What are you having? Swastika loot, says the British. Yeah, we got swastika dresses, stamps, medallions, everything. But why? The British say, for good luck. It's India's ancient symbol of divinity. The next day. Guten Tag. Let us hope in the good luck does not apply to d uh, okay. India begins to cry, but it was mine before him. It's different. His is crooked. Mine is straight. <laughs> mine means peace, guys. And now you can no longer use that. Someone just had to screw that all up. Does anyone else remember when that almost happened to Pepe? We were so close to losing him. I am B Princess Czechoslovakia. Am is being sold by evil baddies too. This even eviler baddie here. Every night, I pray to God, be saved from evil place by my handsome prince that lovings me. <gasps> My prayer is answered. On this blessed day, a hero oofed the evil baddie. He must have done it because he loves me. Then he puts me on his white horse and takes me away. It's like a fairy tale. He then turning to me there on that hill. He says, come inside my castle. I'll be loving you very much. Every bit of it. God is answering my prayer. Oh, wait. I think they might have romanticized the USSR a little bit too much. I'm pretty sure this is the story of all of Eastern Europe for a second there. They quickly found out it was not a fairy tale, though. Check out these. I've created the hottest pepper in the world, the Carolina Reaper. Is that hot, says India? Is it hot? Is it hot? These babies will make your insides feel like the surface of the frickin' sun. Uh, where'd they go? We ate them while you were talking, says Thailand. You ate all of them? But these are the hottest peppers in the world. I thought they were fairly mild. Is... Is it possible to learn this power? This is why I love me some Thai and Indian food. I literally want to be in tears. When I ask for spicy, I better be crying. Anyone ever notice when you try to order spicy food in wealthier areas? It's never really that spicy. But you know that food's gonna be on fire if you order it from a place where you have this lingering suspicion that you might just be shot. Click, bang. Did Germany seriously just commit oof himself? Bloody coward. Whatever is a victory, but what do we do with them now? I suggest we take control together. To make sure they don't do this again, we divide them into to three zones. You mean four, says France out of nowhere? You ain't strong enough for this, buddy. Leave the occupation to us great powers. Aw, you think I'm not great power? I will not stand for such disrespect. I will do what must be done. You leave me with no choice. <laughs> Oh, Christ almighty. What did you say? Make it stop! And that is why we have decided to divide you into four groups instead of three. France cried enough, so we felt bad and gave them their own little piece. Look how we have German states down here in the audience just watching. Shalom, deceased mortal. Before I judge you, tell me how you died. Oh no, France. That wrestle in bed was very amusing. Yeah, we should more do it. But wouldn't it be more plus amusing if you were more big? more rectangular. Oh, I know where this is going. Nine. It's dangerous and possible horrible consequences for me. <laughs> you think you're as dangerous as you used to be? I'm sure I could take you on myself. Well, if you're so sure of self, why not take all the responsibility for whatever goes wrong? Don't do it, France. I regret nothing. Oh, is that Poland, Belgium, and Czechoslovakia also coming up too? Well, at least they got what they wished for. Kind of sad we missed out on a cameo from Reichtangle. I'm pretty sure that's what oof France though. Yo, big daddy. Greenland wants to into independent. Okay, yes, fine, Gronland. You get to be independent, says Denmark. Yeah, but I want to be independent and you give me monies. Yeah, sure. Why newt? Ha, newt, because, um, Wait, why is this funny again? Well, it's funny because that is what happens, and it's relatable. For some reason, I thought they were referencing Greenland's capital, Nuke. Pakistan to Israel, I despise you. India to Israel, I loving you. India to China, I despise you. Pakistan to China, I love you. Pakistan to Bangladesh, I despise you. Looks over at India. Oh, India to Bangladesh, I despise you too. Look at that. They actually have something in common. It's a miracle. Maybe these two are finally going to put aside their differences. <sighs> Aw, so kawaii. Zzz. Aw, sleepu and purr now, so kawaii. Wait, why medieval empire clay like to wear cat ear? No, no, this is my new kitten. I bought him from Serbia. His name is Monty Neko. I think you shouldn't wake him up like that. I'm sure Serbia was more than happy to get rid of him, Japan. Be careful, this cat's only 15 years old. He's underage. Russia shooting at a target. Kami, give me your gun. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Click, no, 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 no. Wrong target, America, wrong target. I think we 
we've seen enough of those. Welcome to International Necktie Day. It's an annual event. We gather here every year to celebrate my great invention, a tie. Did Croatia really create the ties? Bravo! Wait. Serbia, where is your tie? I'm not going to wear it. I despise ties, especially in your ugly red, white, checkered pattern. I have never been so offended before. You come here, you must wear a tie. No. Am don't want to. <sighs> Croatia. And that's how I teach Serbia how to wear a tie. Bosnia is like, nice, wants to. Surprised you didn't invite another country to this big event. Tie land. Uh, I guess Croatia is believed to be the inventors of the necktie, though. We have the Colombian exchange. Thanks for the potatoes and tomatoes, old chap. Enjoy the European fruits and smallpox. The natives. Uh, wait, what? And here's a different type of Colombian exchange. Enjoy through one kilo of Coke and 12 pack of Pepsi. The more things change, the more things stay the same. Thanks, Colombia. Ah, such a day for sunset is best day. Wait, what? All this smoke is blocking the sun. Tuvalu, did you start smoke? Ask the Solomon Islands. No, Solomon. I don't have much tree to burn. Maybe ask Indonesia of burning tree. Indonesia, did you cause the smoke? What? Indonesia was sleeping with a match. Too tired to cause pollution. If not Indonesia or Tuvalu, who else start all smoke? I'm trying to think who it could be, but it's such a mystery. Oh. I'm trying to break record of smoking. UN said I only smoke 50, so I tried to do 100. <coughs> Oh, this is one of those comics with a deeper meaning, isn't it? Yep, apparently this country literally has the highest rate in the entire world. Well, that's not good. Hi, I'm Alaska, and over here, we have the Alaskan Mountain Range. I'm Arizona. I have the Grand Canyon, one of the most popular tourist attractions. I'm Cali, and this is Death Valley. This is what you would call a reindeer over here. We call them caribou. This is a rattlesnake. It shakes its tail when it's pissed. This is a homeless person. Food, please. Get a job. My state is beautiful. My state is great. Please help. <laughs> Texas just saying frick off. I mean, at this point, it's just a part of the experience. Who doesn't want to fight off a couple of hobos when you're just trying to walk down the street? During war, the Germans sing about marching in Paris. The Austrians sing about their generals. And the French sing about eating. So tasty. Hmm. Han, han, han. But honestly, I think this would inspire the soldiers just as much. Hurry up and win this battle so you can go home and eat. That would motivate me. They literally made a banger song about onions. Not even kidding. This song is apparently about onions. Brett Tangle says France. Why you've all cry, cry. You see, Frenchie. Barbados is becoming a republic. The M. I mean, Commonwealth is crumbling. The British are literally watching some of the last remnants of their empire vanish as well. Barbados actually did elect their first ever president. They are removing Queen Elizabeth as the head of state. This collapse has been just a slow and painful one. Although there are still quite a few places that recognize the queen as the head of state. Symbolically, of course. Lithuania, I'm really thinking we should be unified again. Yeah, I'm not thinking that's a good idea. But why? We used to be so strong together. Yeah, but I'm no longer believing country unifying is worth it. But is because you were part of the Soviet Union? Well, that's one reason. But also, have you been seeing the UK lately? We can make this work, mates. Stop trying to run away. Damn it, England. Stop duct taping us. Here they are trying their best to keep Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland all together. As you can see, they've been struggling, though. The year is 1763. I'm kicking you out of my territory, Acadia. Grab your stuff and get out. This is terrible. Where am I supposed to be living now? Hola, says Spain. You want to move to my new land to defend it? from British heretics? Really? That would be fantastic. Welcome to your new home. It's a swamp, Spain. You're welcome. Sacred blue. I'm forced to leave home and into middle of nowhere. Welcome to my world, says the natives. So the Acadians are descendants of the French who settled in Acadia, which was located in eastern Canada. And after some of them were deported by England, many Acadians were eventually recruited by the Spanish government to migrate to Louisiana. I guess that's where the Cajun culture comes from. Well, look on the bright side. I think there's plenty of frogs there. The deportation of these people was all over the place, though. Some of them went back to France, some went down to New England, which there's still a lot of French culture out there. And then as you can see, a lot went to this US state. Poland is dumb and poor clay. Even Latvia is better than you. Stop bullying me. Stop with these jokes about Poland, Russia, or I into war, says Germany. And no, and I won't split Poland this time. How can you possibly invade me, Germany? You know that I beat you because I had hundreds and hundreds of troops against your tanks. If you take out one, I come up with a thousand more. Yeah, I know. You thinking I'm stupid like you? Oh no, 
Germany has a lot of friends now. Oh, I think I understand your plan. Nice to know you, Russia Stan. Mwahahaha. <laughs> no. So I guess Germany is sending a whole lot of different people to live in Russia. Russia doesn't like having, I guess, non-Russians in their country. Thank you for showing me the unit. Yes, I have room available for space. You will be sharing the unit with other tenants, okay? Yes, boss, I understand. Whoa, that's a lot of them. Is this some kind of a scam? Oh, they didn't want people from Punjab? No deal. I guess it's common for Indian residents to have high density units, but it's normally with people that speak a common language. When economy go all poop and the jobs fell in one swoop. Oh my god, do I really want to do this the whole time? I don't know if I can do that. I really don't. If the country is turmoil and can't bail out with some oil, sings Argentina. Although our experience have told that new day as bad as old, it won't be better, it just will stall until coup d'etat ruin all, replies Brazil. Got some background singers over here. Corruption, police useless, no, can't clean such mess, despite of efforts, effects nil, you know best, RG and Brazil. Is there plus? You maybe say, one thing shining like dawn of day, one thing that shall not lead astray. See, si, at least you're no Paraguay, when might Brazil fight La Guerra for show that strongest on Tierra. Who has been losting all the way? It was our neighbor, Paraguay. When Argentina dictator to human rights, I showed the door, who been such nice be even worse. Paraguay with the face of a horse. Okay, no one likes Paraguay. Before I legalize of weed, cartels was making me bleed, but even with narcotics was still healthier than this Chico. Okay, yeah, the, some of the rhyming is not working here, but I'm trying. They mock us for we know Spanish, think English, Dutch, French are funny, but at least we are not Guiani. Language even worse than Danish. Oh man, I despise doing this so much. All know about my HDI, highest on continents, that's I. But which be el lowest guy? Naturally, it's Paraguay. I'm pretty sure Paraguay already suffered enough losses from that whole, like, three-way war that would happen. Aora am poor. My debts keep growing higher. This is Venezuela. Two money met their destruction. Gracias for your contribution. But at least M have glorious past. Socialism bloomed very fast. Meanwhile, Paraguay was be poop just like he will be forever. Looking on me, am Lama King. No clay possesses more than me. You knowing who is star Lama is? Paraguay, what? is the mess. I just can't do this. This is like Dr. Seuss for country balls. Let change topic and sing of me. Galapagos, a sight for sea. No, Ecuador, you dummy. You will have your effort thwarted. Not really know why a story here. Paraguay have won against me. Bolivia, you almost ruined song. Be quiet, puto. Just sing along. Although Bolivia be exception due to his big... Uh, others of us cheer up when you say, at least you know our... Paraguay. Oh my goodness, it's just like a giant musical dunking on one tiny country. Did they really need all that? Is this actually how South America is? Is everyone dunking on Paraguay? Either way, this was beautiful. Put this on Broadway. And big thanks to the October patrons. Majestic Unicorn. Poppy Drew Woo. I love Marx. Drew's Thick Briggs and Girlfriend. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Aryan After Hours. Bring Back Poland Ball. Alfonso M6. Barnsky W. Dalton D. Bullsen Nick. Ivan Lima. Jesse C. Luxembourg Lover. Max Cooper. Nick Blorf. Mine Brothers 999X2. And Stormtrooper 501. Thank you.